It's the Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. for nobility to work. Honey, there's an old French proverb. When you're behind the eight ball, you'll stoop to anything to get a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's my turn to do the dishes. Uh, but knowing how strongly you feel about nobility working... <laughs> I don't feel that strongly about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Mooney, what a surprise. Are we alone? <laughs> yes. Good. Why, Mr. Mooney, you are a married man. <laughs> that is not the reason I wanted to see you alone. Oh, you were joking. <laughs> oh, I've always said you had a delightful sense of humor. <laughs> I've never heard you say that before. Are you feeling all right? Well, of course I'm feeling all right. Oh, uh, Mr. Carmichael, do you remember coming to the bank yesterday morning and asking me for a $50 loan? How could I ever forget? You screamed and turned purple. <laughs> well, tonight... Color me a lovable pink. Here's your 50. Oh, Mr. Mooney, thank you so much. Oh, this is just wonderful. Oh, it's nothing. But it is. You don't know. You don't know what a help this is going to be. Oh. Mr. Mooney, if I can ever do you a favor... Oh, you, you can. Boy, you collect fast. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, this was all a plot. You gave me this advance because you want me to do a favor. All right, all right, all right, Mrs. Carmichael. But I'm desperate. Desperate? Yes, yes. In all my years as a banker, I have never made a mistake. Never? Never. Until recently, I made a bad loan to the Lazy Days Health Fund. <laughs> now they're going broke, and they're, uh, they're about to renege. And what's more, next month, the bank directors are meeting, and they'll find out about it. What'll they do to you? Well, they'll do more than make me stand in a corner. <laughs> now, Mrs. Carmichael, oh, I... you can help me. Me? How? Well, uh, uh, please, sit down. Now, look, I have analyzed the problem, and what the health farm needs is publicity, something to attract customers. Now, I thought if some well-known personality, some socially prominent, beautiful lady signed up for the health course, that would do the trick. Well, I would be delighted to take the course. I wasn't referring to you. <laughs> no, I was referring to the Countess Framboise. Oh. Yeah. Well, of course, I couldn't offer the Countess a crass commercial proposition. Knowing that she's nobility, uh, money is the farthest thing from her mind. Yeah, and it's getting farther and farther. <laughs> but Mrs. Carmichael, as a favor, could you talk her into this? Well, I, um, uh, I'll do the best I can, but you understand this must be handled in a very genteel manner. After all, we are dealing with a Countess. Oh. Oh. Hey, Lucy, how do you work the garbage disposal? <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney. Uh, that, that, that's Mo Mooney. Oh, Mooney. Oh, yes, yeah, c'est charmant de vous voir encore. Oh, the encore is all mine. Oh, oh how can I 
and all. Oh, uh, Countess, <laughs> Countess, Mr. Mooney would, would uh, like to ask a favor of you. Oh? You see, he made a loan to a help farm that isn't doing so well. And he thought that if you went there for a course, it would give them a, a lot of good publicity. You mean use my name as an endorsement? Oh, no, 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 please, Countess, don't get the wrong idea. There would be no commercial stigma attached. No, no, you, you would just be doing some poor soul a good deed. Yeah. It would be sort of a benevolent gesture on your part. Mm -hmm. And for doing it, you ought to get a bundle of loot. Mrs. Carmine! <laughs> please, don't be vulgar. <laughs> Dear Countess, I wouldn't think of insulting you by offering you money. Oh, you wouldn't? No. <laughs> well, perhaps you could show your appreciation by making a donation to my favorite charity. Oh, splendid, splendid. Yes, let's say a uh, hundred dollars to your favorite charity. Well, that keeps it all on an elevated plane. <laughs> yes, well, let's elevate it a little more. <laughs> Two hundred dollars. Uh, oh, of course, yes, uh, two hundred dollars. Uh, there'll be a check made out to your favorite charity. Oh, well, 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 could you make it out to me personally? You see, my charity just changes from week to week. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and uh, Mr. Mooney, I think that it would be very nice if Mrs. Carmichael joined me at the health farm. Oh? <laughs> oh, oh, you mean a sort of a lady-in-waiting? Yes. And the lady in waiting is waiting. Waiting for what? My loot. No, Mrs. Carmichael! I didn't say that. Mr. Mooney, I don't see how I can possibly go to the health farm unless Mrs. Carmichael gets her, what a quaint word, loot. Very well. Two hundred dollars apiece. Anything to save the health farm. Uh, but in exchange, ladies, you must obey all the rules and set a good example. Oh, you, don't you worry about a thing, Mr. Mooney, uh, as long as we get our loot. Yes. <laughs> but when would you want us to be there? Oh, tomorrow morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow oh. morning? Yes. Well, we'll see you when we get back, Mr. Hmm. Mooney. Oh, you'll see me sooner than that. What do you mean? Well, as an economy measure, I have taken over the job of physical instructor at the health farm. You? What do you know about being a physical instructor? Well, I assure you, I'm very well qualified. At college, I was an all-round athlete. I had a fine build, bulging muscles. Of course, that's all behind me now. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning, Mr. Mooney. Uh, Countess. Uh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred apiece. How about that? <laughs> Why aren't we with the group? Well, we thought we'd join you the next time around. <laughs> you two ladies are supposed to set an example. And let me remind you about the $200 donation to your favorite charity. Oh, come on, Mr. Mooney. Do you expect us to do these strenuous exercises with no food or water? Countess, I think you're getting all the food that you require. 300 calories a day. They're doing all right on 300 calories a day. Well, they came equipped with a reserve supply. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, girls, line up. Great line now. Come along. Hurry up, hurry up. A little pep, a little ginger. Let's go. All now right. then, good. Come along. Get in line. Are you in the right place? Are you in the right place? All right. Now, this is our swivel hip exercise. You know how it goes. Up, down, left, right. You know that? All right, now, girls. And up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Do it faster. Stretch your muscles. Shake those right, right off your muscles. Up, down, left, right.
Mrs. Carmichael, what seems to be your problem? Well, uh, I was doing all right on my onesies and twosies, but I keep bruising my threesies. <laughs> All right, all right, now let's get to something else. Uh, and you two go over on the pulleys, uh, you two on the mat, and uh, you two... You <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, I... Over here. <laughs> and you two row. <clears throat> all right, now let's get going. And why aren't we rowing? <laughs> I'm floating downstream. <laughs> And you, are you waiting for the light to change? Oh, I started to get seasick. <laughs> oh, you got to Gather around, quickly, quickly now. Gather around, gather around. Come on, gather around, gather around. Come on, gather around. Gather around. Come on, come on. Countess, will you please, Countess, please come and get into line where you belong. All right now, girls, come on. Have you got your towels? Are you in line? No, we're going out into the fresh air and climb the mountains. Isn't that lovely? That uh, should be very interesting, watching these mountains <laughs> climb another mountain. <laughs> All right. Now then, in place, double time. Uh, lift, lift, double lift, time. Lift, lift, lift. Yes. Lift, lift. Forward. <laughs> March. Lift, 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 lift. <laughs> Anywhere. We are overworked and underfed. We certainly are. It's not fair. No, it's not fair. You know it's something? Worse. We have just got to think of some way to get some food. The stuff they serve around here. Yeah, instant nothing. <laughs> we need real food like meat and potatoes uh, and pie a la mode, uh, just, just covered oh, with please, whipped come cream. On. And oh, ice cream. Please, please. Come on, we're waiting. Simon Legree of the concentration camp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Might as well. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. What? You know, maybe if we made it look like an emergency, you know, like we were really cracking up from starvation, maybe they'd give us some solid food. Yeah, maybe they would. Ladies, where are you? Here he comes. Yeah. Look, now, remember, we're dying of starvation. Let's put on an act. Well, I don't know about you, but I won't be putting on an act. <laughs> so... Ladies. Oh, God. 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 Oh, now, you cannot be as hungry as all that. Lucy, should we show him how hungry we really are? Yeah. Yeah! Ah! Now, ladies, we are going to have fun. 
There's nothing oh, yeah. but toning up the muscles, I always say, nothing like a good old-fashioned tug of war. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Now, then, you go over there, you be one team, you come over here, you'll be the other team. There we are, get over there. Now, hurry up, girls, come along, move along. That's right, you want to take that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Grab the rope there. Go. That's right. Now then, remember to put a strain on it. Are ah, you? Let's get over here a little bit more, don't. Oh my heaven. All right now. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Tug. Hey, have a year. Just makes me drool to look at it. There you are. And there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Your lunch covers and yours. Same old gourmet special. One lettuce leaf, a curl of carrot, a sprig of parsley, and a yogurt wafer. Sort of a no care package. We're going and stuff ourselves. Oh, let's do it. I could eat anything anyway. Sometimes oh, I wish I were back with my we ever, dear departed husband. How we ever let ourselves well, in for this, I don't know. I just... so weak, I don't know whether I have the strength to eat this. I... Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Better get out of here. If you saw what I had for dessert, delicious deep dish strawberry shortcake smothered in whipped cream. Oh, you'd really go for sir. Yeah. And you well, said, just a tiny little bite. Just a tiny little bite. Just. I just don't know what. Well, Lucy, I. Uh... Lucy? <laughs> Lucy? Lady Finger! Oh, no! <laughs> over to the farm next door, and I found something. What'd you get? What'd you find? Well, never mind. I What'd you get? Just you got something to eat? Yes, I got something. What have you got? I, shh, shh. I stashed it. I stashed it right What is here. it? Oh, I was saving it for an emergency. Well, this is it. Sit down and hatch it. 
<laughs> that is insulting. Now we will eat it raw. Raw? Yes, raw eggs are very nourishing. Now, how can I divide this? Well, here, I'll show no, you. No, oh, no, no, I want it. I want it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, like Rosie. I'll make it up to you. I'm sorry. Did you hear what I heard? The most beautiful sound in the world. Oh, oh. oh hello, Bossy. A bossy cow. Come on, baby. Come on, Bossy. Come on, Bossy. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Hello, Bossy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but well, we can't eat her raw. No. <laughs> David, wait to get some... Can you know how to get some milk out of her? Well, I... <laughs> well, there's a lot of faucets down here. <laughs> yeah, you got to have a stool. Get the stool back there. What stool? It's around there. He had it. Get the stool. Put it... How are we going to get her to sit on it? <laughs> There's a bucket over in the bottom there. Go get the bucket. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. She doesn't do it all by herself. Oh, well, what should I do? Well, just grab on and make believe you're climbing a rope. <laughs> Twist, I'd love a milkshake. <laughs> push on, push on. I, I think the word is pull. All right, pull. <laughs> well, now what's the matter? Well, uh, I, I'm not. She looks like a friendly cow, but I, I, I don't. I wouldn't want her to get mad at well, me. She won't get mad at you. Well, she might kick me. Oh, she will not. Oh, listen. What? I read somewhere where they play music in those barns to keep the cows happy. Oh? Yes, so, so why don't I sing to her and you milk her? Oh, you, you think you know something she might like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, sit down, and I'll try. Make like I'm climbing a rope, huh? La da dee da da. <laughs> you in the act. I've had nothing but trouble since this health farm moved in here. I knew you women were sneaking over and stealing my stuff, and now I've caught you red-handed. And white-faced. <laughs> I'd like to buy this place and get rid of the whole kit and caboodle. Buy it? Well, why don't you? Yeah. You got any money? Well, I got plenty of money, but they won't sell it to me. No. Well, 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 who, who, who won't sell it to you? <laughs> oh, boy. When Mooney hears money, he comes in on the beam. <laughs> Uh, sir, my bank happens to hold the mortgage on that property. Now, we'd be happy to talk business with you. Well, that's okay with me. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, well, what was your name, sir? Uh, Tom, Mr. Oh, Mooney. Johnson, yes. Mr. Uh, Mooney, the Countess and I have been very helpful to you, and we were just wondering, we still get our loot? Uh, Mrs. Carmichael, you were supposed to obey, but you disobeyed, so you get no loot. Uh, your name was Johnson, you Johnson. Say. Well, I happen to have the mortgage right here in my pocket. I always carry it with me just in case. Well, here we are. Now, let's see. Um, now, this is on a 5% loan. That's all it is. We'll amortize it over 20 or 30 years. And uh, you'll see the payments are very low. Fire one! 
The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. for nobility to work. Honey, there's an old French proverb. When you're behind the eight ball, you'll stoop to anything to get a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's my turn to do the dishes. Uh, but knowing how strongly you feel about nobility working... <laughs> I don't feel that strongly about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Mooney, what a surprise. Are we alone? <laughs> yes. Good. Why, Mr. Mooney, you are a married man. <laughs> that is not the reason I wanted to see you alone. Oh, you were joking. <laughs> oh, I've always said you had a delightful sense of humor. <laughs> I've never heard you say that before. Are you feeling all right? Well, of course I'm feeling all right. Oh, uh, Mr. Carmichael, do you remember coming to the bank yesterday morning and asking me for a $50 loan? How could I ever forget? You screamed and turned purple. <laughs> well, tonight... Color me a lovable pink. Here's your 50. Oh, Mr. Mooney, thank you so much. Oh, this is just wonderful. Oh, it's nothing. But 